Why hello ghosts and ghouls, I'm Diana Vandenberg with Dress Tech and today I'm trying on a lovely new outfit. But first, roll the makeup. So first I'm pre-shaving with an electric razor. Then I shave with a Gillette Mach 3 and I actually do it twice. First I shave with the grain and then I shave against it for a tighter shave. This is how I like to keep my eyebrows trimmed. I just comb everything up and trim off the long hairs with a little electric trimmer. Then a little cleanup with tweezers. This is Mehron Skin Prep Pro. It's basically an antiperspirant for my face. So now I'm applying a light tint of beard cover. This shade of orange is perfect to neutralize the bluish tint caused by my beard shadow. For my foundation, I'm using Mehron Cream Blend Stick. And what I love about this product is that it's super creamy, so it goes on fast and blends out easily. Now I'm blending it with a beauty blender sponge and you get the sponge a little bit damp and then you just kind of stipple away and it evens out and blends the coverage. And don't forget to put primer on the eyelids. This will provide a nice base for the eyeshadows to stick to later to make sure that they really pop. Now I'm applying Mehron setting powder. The purpose of this is just to set all of that foundation that I put on earlier. So I'm just stippling a lot on and don't worry about using too much because you brush off all of the excess when you're done. Here I'm using scotch tape to give myself a crisp line underneath my eye makeup. I found this little red palette at Target and first I'm going to apply the lighter pink shade as a highlighter to my brow bone and just underneath the eyebrows. Next I'm going to go in with a transition color and I'm going to kind of blend this out from the crease. And then I'm going to use this darker color as my crease color. Now I'm going to apply a light concealer. I'm basically gonna paint my eyelids to make them pop and separate from all that other eye makeup I just put on. This is called cutting the crease. And you have a lot of leeway to change the shape or size of your eyelids. So um, give it a shot, try a few things and see what works for you. Now I'm setting the concealer with a little bit of that pink highlight color that I used earlier. Out come the glitter primer and a coarse red glitter and I actually was not very happy with the way this turned out. I did not get very even or full coverage. I've had better luck in the past with finer glitters so I might try something else. Uh, but I basically played with it. I got to the point where I said screw it and moved ahead with my makeup. And you can see after I remove the tape, I'm left with a nice crisp line underneath my eye makeup. Now I'm just defining my brows with kind of a dark gray brow pencil. I'm gonna fill them in where they're lighter and 
especially I'm going to try to tidy up some of the edges. Now it's time to contour. I'm applying a darker color to my jawline to make it look more rounded and also to other areas of the face that I want to make look deeper. I'm also applying it to the sides of my nose to make it look a little more slender. And now I'm using a large fluffy brush to blend away until I get the desired amount of contour. Time for mascara. I usually use a washable mascara because it's easier to remove at the end of the night. Now I'm outlining my lips with a red lip liner pencil and you actually have a lot of freedom to change the shape or size of your lips. I usually just follow my lower lip line where it naturally is because my lower lip is already nice and plump but I like to draw just outside of my upper lip line to make it look a little bit larger. And now I'm filling in the lips with a cheap lipstick. And you're gonna wanna blot lightly with a tissue or something in order to remove all of the excess. And now I'm applying a little bit of lip gloss. I like to put it on my lower lip and near the cupid's bow. And some clip-on earrings because I do not have pierced ears. Now I'm using a couple pieces of Dress Tech cleavage tape to amplify my cleavage. And then I come in with the Dress Tech Contour Palette and I'm going to do a little bit of contouring to make that cleavage look a lot deeper than it really is. So I'm using my hand in kind of a windshield wiper motion and I'm coming back in with a darker color in the middle where the cleavage needs to appear deeper. And then I'm blending kind of downwards, not upwards, but blend down towards the breast. This is a Dress Tech Pro Form with the Perks Prosthetic Nipples. I've had this for a long time if you can't tell, but I'm going to put this inside of a pocketed bra and then watch what happens when I put it over my cleavage. That is the full look. Now I'm going to tuck myself off camera using the Dress Tech Tuck Yourself Kit. And here's one of my favorite wigs. and some colored contacts just to make everything pop. This is the Big Girl Dress Tech Hip Pads. Normally I wear a size large, but because this is Halloween, I'm going big. And now it's time to try on the costume, which barely fits over my enormous hips. I picked out these Alice in Wonderland shoes from the Dress Tech catalog because they match the sequins on my outfit. And there's the before and after. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you end up doing for Halloween. And if you need any last minute costume accessories, you can find them on my website at procrossdresser.com.